As you've heard, the leader of Kent County Council has written to the government warning the authority could face bankruptcy unless it receives urgent financial help. In the letter to the Chancellor, the leader, Roger Goff, along with the leaders of Hampshire County Council, said local authorities would soon go over the cliff edge without a fundamental change in the way that adult and children's social care is funded. In a moment, actually, we'll get the Conservative steer on all of this. But first, the Deputy Leader of the Opposition Labour Group on Kent County Council joins us. Councillor Karen Constantine, thank you so much for, for being with us. Now... This is a very a very stark letter, as we've been discussing. What do you think needs to change then? Well, it's where to begin with this, really. I mean, you've just heard Caroline Williams outline the national picture and um, yeah. to some extent sort of brief us on what we can expect on Thursday, which is essentially more cuts, which is essentially more pain, more pain in the communities, more means, in effect, more demand on services. And we we are in, frankly, a vicious downward spiral now where everything that the government seems to do and the responses of the upper tier authorities like Kent County Council creates more difficulties for people that we're in a situation where cuts create difficulties and then the councils frankly can't come along and mop that up because it's just become too difficult and too expensive and we've heard this from Roger Goff before going to his own government cap in hand like Oliver Twist asking for more and yet we've got a Kent County Council here that invest in a, in a culture of consultants they've invested in white elephant projects now would draw your attention to the seventh railway station in Thanet at a cost of 30 odd million pounds that money could have been put to much better use meantime chi- child um, childish child, children's issues in Thanet and adult social care are in a really parlous state so we need Kent County Council to really lobby the, the government. But actually, I honestly think we're just being softened up so that they can hike up the council tax rates without the referendum and then continue to plead poverty. It's but, just no way to run a council. And just one final point. I can imagine the atmosphere for staff at Kent County Council today because if you're looking at the potential threat of redundancy as Northampton, Croydon, Slough and Thurrock have done, you're going to be thinking, what do I do in order to make sure I can pay my bills, keep my own and also feed my children? You're going to be looking for other jobs. So this is a really bad uh, situation to find ourselves in. In fairness, on your first point, because we haven't heard yet what the government are going to say, so we wait we until, until Thursday. But, I mean, the council themselves says, well, they don't want to be in a position where they're putting taxes up but providing fewer services. They're, they're trying to evade that. And, and and these are global issues, let's not forget. Inflation affecting every single country. We could talk about the war in Ukraine, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, we have asked them, the, the Labour group, we have asked them year on year to conduct the budget in a way that is about spending to save money about looking at where we can make cuts but also where we can spend more sensibly to bring services in house so they're actually cheaper to run and we get a better return from staff in that way rather than them being outsourced we've asked them to stop spending money on white elephants and consultants now they rule the council they do what they want to do they don't listen to the opposition or any of the opposition parties They chart their own pathway and this is where it's headed. And I have repeatedly called them to take action to stem the rising uh, tide of child poverty and thanit. Now that poverty tide is now washing right across Kent. And of course now they're sitting up to take notice. But we've got child poverty at 50% in some of our poor rewards in thanit. And that's only going to grow. We've already got a crisis in adult care. It's a little bit t- too late from Roger Goff to be going to his government now. He should have been going to the government a long time ago. And actually, I think they need to go much further. Um, it's not good enough to put the general public in a position where they're going to have to dig even deeper to find more funds. Because frankly, a lot of people just do not have that money. So what is then going to happen? Well, I'm sure that's actually why they've written to the government asking 
for more money there. You could argue then, will that just be a, a different tax by central government rather than the council tax exactly. that, that goes up? But have you done the maths on this? So you're saying, OK, we, we don't build as many ra- ra- um, railway stations and so-called white elephants, as you've labelled them, and we cut back on consultants. But would that be enough to balance the books? Well, it's a difficult question to answer, except what I can say is we have seven railway stations in Thanet. We didn't need a further railway station. And we did raise this with them. This was after the pandemic. This was as the uh, fiscal noose was tightening, if you like. And we did raise that issue, both myself and Councillor Barry Lewis for Margate, to say, this isn't necessary. This money could be spent better elsewhere. Now, that might not balance this situation, but actually to have another £30 million in the coffers could have been a very good idea and could have addressed some of the very serious and significant struggles that people here in Thanet and elsewhere and elsewhere are having. The point here is the Conservative administration at Kent County Council doesn't listen, it doesn't collaborate, and actually we're being... We're being um, softened up for a huge tax okay. hike Karen. without going to a referendum. And that's what this is about. It's a ploy. Thank you so much for setting out how you feel so clearly. That is then the Opposition Labour Group Deputy on Kent County Council. It's Councillor Karen Constantine.